I have a little activity I did. I started yesterday with the boys. I put um, some random little toys in some of these tupers and uh, put them in the freezer. And today oh, we are I going to try to. Mommy, can you get Oh, good job, Bobby. Mm. Hold on. Well, I'll see if I can find a bigger one for you. Okay. Um, and today we're just gonna do this for a little you bit this morning. Uh, it's a little hot, so hopefully the heat kind of helps, kind of um, melt melt it away and stuff. So they're kind of trying to like save the little little toys and stuff. But let us share just a fun idea if you have small kids, toddlers. Um, my boys are five years old, and then Liam's two. Well, no, he's one and a half, so he's just watching his big brothers play. A little bowl of hot water, and they're just pouring it on the ice. Yeah, I see that. Good job. And then they have their little tools. Oh, hot. I just put a towel underneath so it's not a huge mess. <laughs> So this took them, I think, at least maybe 15 to 20 minutes. So it was a lot quicker than I thought it would be. Um, so I think I'm going to freeze some more today so they can have um, maybe some more smaller containers, tubers. And maybe that'll take them a little bit longer. But they definitely enjoyed it and had fun. And we're excited when they would free their little um, toys. Wow, yeah, that one still has ice on it. Did you like this activity? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Aaron's just breaking some random ice. <laughs> you got it? Hey guys, welcome back to another day in the life vlog. Um, thank you guys so much for clicking on today's video. If you are new here, my name is Sydney and I'm a stay at home mom of twin five year old boys, an 18 month old boy, as well as pregnant with our fourth baby. Um, we just revealed what the sex of our fourth baby is. If you haven't seen that, I'll have the video um, down in the description box for you guys to watch. And I am actually done with my first trimester as of yesterday. I'm 14 weeks. So I'm so grateful that all of the nausea and all of that lack of energy is kind of gone for the most part. Um, I actually decided to put some makeup on today um, and I haven't done this in quite a while but I feel more put together and um, I honestly need to do this more. I thought I would just do a little vlog and then uh, today I'm going to include um, probably a little bit of cleaning, a little cleaning montage. I gotta go do a grocery pickup and then I'll probably put Liam down for his nap and maybe talk to you guys, give you guys a first trimester update later on. I am home with the boys all three boys now because the boys are done with school uh they were going to preschool and yeah they graduated last thursday not last thursday though thursday before last <laughs> um so yeah stay tuned if you want to know how i've been feeling my sim my symptoms and just any updates that i have um for this pregnancy hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog and yeah i will talk to you guys in a bit So this is several hours later. We got back from getting grocery pickup and I put Liam down for a nap because he was so tired. 
and I tried to get the boys to take a nap, but they refused. So um, I had them do like a little quiet time in the living room and now they're eating their lunch. Um, I, I made myself a sandwich, a quick little sandwich as well uh, because I was kind of getting like lightheaded and stuff. So that's when I know that I have to get something quick. Anyways, I'm going to now um, finish tidying up the kitchen because it's a complete disaster. Anyways, this is the current state of the kitchen. I still kind of, I took everything out of the bags, everything that needed to be refrigerated, I put it in the fridge, um, but I still have some things left over uh, because the kids got hungry and then I got hungry. So I just ended up leaving it there and I still got dishes from this morning just random things everywhere. So I definitely have to get this kitchen in order and then the boys are eating. Um, I'm gonna start a load of laundry. <laughs> Hey guys, so this is actually the following day. So thankfully I have some time to film this first trimester update for you guys for the end of this vlog, like I promised. Liam is napping and Noah is, Aaron and Noah are watching a movie. So I'm just gonna quickly try to skim through all of my symptoms, how I was feeling, how I'm currently feeling, and any updates that I haven't really informed you guys on here. I'm gonna jump right into it. So like I mentioned in the beginning of this vlog, I am in my second trimester, which I am so excited to finally, you know, get into the, I guess they call this the easy trimester. I have felt a lot more energetic and less fatigued, thankfully. I'm going to also show you guys a bump shot towards the end. Also make sure you stay tuned to see how, how fast baby is growing. I feel like I'm showing a lot quicker this time. Uh, this is my third pregnancy, so I don't know if that's common. Let me know down below. Did you show, were you showing quicker or, or sooner the more pregnancies you had? I'm going to go ahead and start a little bit with towards the beginning of my pregnancy. I did share my symptoms in a previous vlog, so I'm not going to go into detail with a lot of those, but I will mention them if you guys didn't see it. I think it was around Five weeks is when I found out I was pregnant. So I, it did take me a while. The symptoms that I was having were fatigue. That was a big one. And then um, some nausea. That nausea one really gave it away because I never really get nauseous. So that one was a big one for me. And the nausea actually lasted from, I think five weeks to nine weeks. Nine to 10 weeks is when I finally um, the nausea was kind of subsiding and not lasting um, all day because unfortunately for me it kind of was an all-day nausea feeling. I never really threw up so I don't know if that's 
considered morning sickness. So the other symptom that I was feeling was food, I guess food aversions and nausea kind of go hand in hand. But I did get some food aversions like cooking eggs. I couldn't stand the smell of eggs or any meats. So yeah, towards the beginning of my pregnancy, uh, it was just really hard to eat and just my appetite was terrible. Um, I kind of had to force myself to eat um, any little snacks here and there. And then another symptom that I had that I never really had with any of my previous pregnancies was break breakouts. Um, I do have a little bit of makeup on, but I have a lot of redness going on and just like random little breakouts here and there. So I definitely think it's hormone related and due to my pregnancy. And moving on to, I think those are all of the early symptoms that I had. And then once I found out I was pregnant, I've recently started to get up and pee at night a lot, at least two times at night, and just having to go to the restroom more often. I guess that's common with a lot of us as we progress in our pregnancies. Another thing, I think it was about a week or so ago, I was kind of doing a lot around the house and I was on my feet a lot and I finally had to rest because my back, my lower back was in so much pain. I had little bursts of pain in my lower back. So I kind of knew that I kind of was pushing myself a bit. I don't feel it if I'm just not you know, just doing regular things and not just on my feet all day. So I definitely need to just not try to do everything around the house, especially with the kids being home from school. So yeah, I guess lower back pain is another symptom that I have recently been feeling every now and then. I did want to talk about how my mental health has been because it's definitely been a struggle. I once I found out I was pregnant, I was a little down. Like I mentioned, if you've seen my reaction, you kind of can tell that I wasn't extremely happy in that moment. And as I've progressed, I, of course, am so grateful and just excited about this baby right now, but it doesn't mean that my mental health has been any better. I have had really low lows lately and I have recently started taking my antidepressants again because it's just been, it's just gotten to a point where I feel kind of worthless and, um, you know, I shouldn't, there's no reason why I should feel like I'm not doing enough or like I'm not enough or like I can't handle this. Uh, it's just the load of motherhood, I think, recently. Uh, and then, obviously bringing another baby into this world. I've just had a lot of anxiety. Um, when I do have hard days as a mom, I'm like, how am I gonna be able to do this with another baby uh, when I'm already struggling? And it's something that I did talk to my OB about and they did say that it's okay for me to continue to take the antidepressants I was prescribed before, um, before getting pregnant. So I do have the lowest dose, um, but I thought I would mention it because I don't really see a lot of pregnancy updates that talk about like prenatal, I think it's called prenatal depression or anxiety. So I quickly, I had to move locations because Aaron and Noah actually went in the room over there and we're playing and that's kind of like the playroom. I really thought it was important to bring this up for this first trimester update because so many pregnant women feel this way and you know if you are currently pregnant and feel like you have you know prenatal depression or anxiety um please please talk to your ob or and let them know because it is okay to feel this way and it's all of the hormonal changes that can cause these feelings and these thoughts um which is something that i'm reminding myself daily and that it's not me it's just unfortunately um, my hormones are imbalanced and I have gotten through this before and I know that I can get through it again so yeah it's just something that I kind of was pushing aside and not to take them I and not to take them again and not depend on them but if I really I feel like I actually really need to take them because I've been having some scary thoughts and um, I just don't want to feel this way um, the rest of my pregnancy 
not. I'm just trying to get my strength from God as well and rely on Him, lean on Him when I can, when I feel low. And I just wanted to touch on that topic. If you are also struggling, I, I am here with you. I am struggling alongside you and you are definitely not alone. I'm going to be talking about my last appointment. I did get the genetic test done and i don't believe i got that with any of my previous pregnancies if you do have medicaid i believe medicaid covers it completely definitely check with your you know insurance your doctor or ob just to make sure uh, i was able to get it done this time and then that's how we found out the sex of our fourth baby so soon because previously i've found out around five months or so during the anatomy scan we found out that as well as any high risks of having the baby having down syndrome or any genetic malformations and you know thankfully the baby is low risk for everything low risk for down syndrome low risk for i think it's called trisomy 21 so thankfully all of that was low risk and you know baby is growing healthy i'm so so excited to be having a little baby girl for the very first time of course i would have been thrilled with another boy um but just knowing that it's a little girl i you know i'm excited to go into that new world of little baby girls you know having that mom and daughter relationship um it's just something that i have been you know praying for thankfully everything happens for a reason and i have we have no idea what we're naming this baby um we had some previous names picked out from uh, my previous pregnancies when we had a boy girl names picked out but i don't really like them anymore so if you have any baby girl name suggestions please leave them down down below in the comments um i have been looking recently and i just haven't found one that I absolutely love yet. Okay, so I think that concludes this first trimester recap and update. Um, if I missed anything, please, uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment down below. I am going to show you guys my 14 week bump. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for staying with me and be sure to leave a thumbs up. Also make sure you are subscribed if you aren't already. I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Thank mm -hmm. you. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations Oh, cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong 